G'day everyone, Aaron from Boostock. Today I want a little chat about VCT hubkits that I make for the RB25s, which is the S1, S2 and Neos. Comes in a little kit, comes with a uh, machined ring, some bolts, drill bit, a cool little sticker, and in the back there's a uh, bit of drilling information for the drill bit. So in essence what this does, gives you 15 degrees of variation, like a set of adjustable cam gears, except the VCT still works, and you get the adjustment, best of both worlds. This gives you 15 degrees from uh, advanced retard on this particular kit. So this is one that's not been treated. You can see here I've cleaned it up. It looks great. So Nissan uh, do this from factory. The bolts come in from backwards. Um, so the only way to adjust this is pull the engine apart. So with my kit, you can do it on the dyno. So you pull the 10 mil bolt out, mark these positions before you completely disassemble it. And you can see here, this one is not done. This one is done. Let's grab a uh, good old center punch, move position A, mark it, move position B, mark it. I grab a bit of the Weiss special uh, nail polish on my little piece of welding rod and I just dot it nice and gently with the paint. Wipe off any excess, that's a nice neat little thing. It's a nice easy way to get a, a quick reference of where the position is and away you go. Now, when on the dyno, I just uh, tighten these up nice and firm, run the car, until we finish the dyno session, or whatever position that ends up, it ends up. And then I pull each bolt out individually, lock tight, put it back home, and then do the next one. I don't pull them all apart while the engine's assembled, because if the ring pops off the back, you can't pick it back up, which means you gotta take it all apart and put it all back together in. Not cool. So it's a great little kit. Uh, it allows you to bend the power curve depending on your camshaft, your turbo choice, those kind of things. Uh, and you can get a little bit more spool or a little bit more top end uh, out of the kit. doesn't really make horsepower, but allows you to bend the power curve that you've already got. It's a good little kit. I sell them on my website. Google it. They're a great thing. Go check them out. They're easy to use. They're easy to work with. And best part, you can adjust it on the dyno. Anyway, guys, see ya.